guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to Vinci Vibe Plus today it's a beautiful beautiful day to be alive guys it's a beautiful day look at the surrounding the breeze is blowing the seawater is calm and pretty and nice and guess what once you see the seawater behind of me you don't know where I'm going yes it's a day another day of spear fishing yes we're gonna be looking for some nice fish today let's hope that God bless us with some a bountiful catch because we know with him nothing is impossible so guys join me on this epic one today if you're new to my channel please like comment share and subscribe and if by chance you're wondering where these vlogs are coming from these vlogs are coming from st vincent and the grenadines located here in the eastern caribbean all right guys so feel free to like feel free to subscribe feel to, free to share the videos and all the necessary thing guys so let's hope that under the water is crystal clear so you guys can have some nice underwater footages without any further ado let's say a small prayer before we go because you know without god nothing is uh, possible father god even as we go pray that you watch over me hear me safely even those who are watching whatever they are going through i pray that you will touch them right now and i pray lord that they will we come to know you as lord and savior even as we go hear me safe and bring me back safely in jesus name amen god is good all the time and all the time god is good Catch you under the water, guys. Boom. This was a jack that I shot off camera. You know, the camera was not rolling, so I just put it on to show you guys uh, that I just shot it. Yeah, and if you look closely, guys, there are a lot of jellyfish in the water and they were biting, biting. The jellyfish is not the one that's doing the biting. There is some long ones that we call sea tread. That's what we call them here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Those are the ones, they sting you, sting like crazy. Yeah, that day was a lot because there was a lot of moss in the water. All right, my beautiful people, look at this. Check this out. This is called Maroon Rock. For, for those of you from St. Vincent and again in especially from Barley, you would know where this rock is located, just outside of Battle and Glass. And this is, this is the first, first time ever in my life. I'm living just up on top of the hill up there for how many years now all my life and this is the first time i'm coming on this piece of rock and the reason for me coming on this piece of rock is uh since i started spear fishing this morning i got like two underwater footage and then after that the camera um just freeze i don't know why so i had to come on the rock take out the battery and put it back again so this is my own rock guys check it out and I have a video coming up. I'm gonna be doing a camping right here, like an overnight camping. We're gonna fish in here. We use some rod. I'm gonna bring my gun. 
and do some nice cooking and some nice camp ahead view of this entire piece of rock to show you how it's the shape of it and the surrounding so yes I'm gonna get up back and go back down in the water that's where I came from all the way up there I went to Wali Abu side first and I came around came all the way here you notice my buoy is out there I got four fish so, so far and I'm on I'm on a good I'm on, on a good roll right now four shots four fish so I'm gonna get up back and then I'm gonna go around this side as usual my normal dive wait by the end up there come back around and then back around to Count News Bay all right guys so stay tuned for that this is called Maroon Rock for those of you guys who don't know Maroon Rock so catch me back in the water a heart speed to the city streets we begin to feel the fire we rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher the night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine the name. Look at how the water is pretty. Look at that. Look at how the water is pretty. Look at that. Barracudas right around this rock. There's always barracudas and jacks. So that's what we are looking to get today. As I said so far, I'm doing well. I got four fish, four shots. And I'm just hoping and praying God that as I go around this rock and come back, by the time we get back to our base, that we can get a nice amount of fish. All right, guys, so take in that water another time. Check it out. Look at that. Pretty.
If you notice guys I was pointing yes. while I was shimming up that jump I looked to the right and there were barracudas everywhere I didn't even notice them at first so that's why I was pointing so now it's time to go hunting barracudas
Hey guys, welcome to the wa underwater segment. And a lot of you guys may be wondering why I always hang the gun down to the bottom of the sea. Right, the reason for this being barracudas are fish that love to see anything that glitters, anything that's looking shiny. So the shaft that's on the gun, is, which is the steel, we send it down. And then once a barracuda comes up, then we go down. We never pull up the gun. We go down to meet it and see it. Bam! Shot. That's how we do it. So if you're wondering why you always see spare fishermen send their gun down, that's because that's a way of lowering the barracuda. Is when they see that shiny stuff, they are kind of like inquisitive kind of fish. When they see anything coming down, they will come to check it out and to get it you don't pull the gun all the way up you go down to meet the gun you take off whatever excess um, nylon you have or string or dyneema whatever it is of the gun and then you pick out the target sometimes it's like hundreds of barcodes right in front of you and this is how i got this one send on the gun came in and then i went down take off the excess and bam that's it Guys, I'm so upset with myself. This is a barracuda that I could have shot. I don't know why I hesitated. I hesitate and the barracuda just shot burst and bam, that was it. And barracuda are fast, fast fish. They are fast, fast fish. And I'm still wondering why I hesitated to pull the trigger. That could have been another one added to my string. That's the way it goes sometimes, you know, you can't get all of them. Maybe another time. And guys, here comes the heartache. This one is the heartache. This is the one that got me the most. This, I picked the biggest one. You see, he was just lying there. And it was on the string for a good amount of time. As you can see, it was on the string. See, it was on the string, just behaving wild. And then when I get to the surface and I pull up my string, it was just the steel. My gear was gone, and the steel was like bent very badly. And 
Unfortunately, I lost that one. I lost that one. <sighs> I don't know what happened. I just don't know what happened. It just broke the gill. It just broke the gill. Look at my steel. Look at it. The gill is gone. Guys, I have no words. No other words to say. Oh man! Guys, look at that. My gill is gone. And the fish are so. Ah! <sighs> That's it for me. Can't do nothing else. I got to go ashore. Oh man. Guys, wow, I'm not gonna lie, for the longest while, it's the most, most, most epic, epic spear fishing I have ever, ever done in my life. I'm telling you, you guys saw that I met the Barracuda. The Barracuda that, that I'm always talking about, I met them today. And too bad, after shooting three, I got two, one got away, but the biggest one of all, after I shot him, he broke my gill, bent my spear, and it was gone. It was gone. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so mad right now. But what are you gonna do? You win some, you lose some. Let me show you what I caught. Look at that, guys. Yes, so I gotta get another gill for that steel because that my, that's my longest steel that I want to use on that gun. I'm gonna, I have to go and purchase a gill and put it on that steel for when I go back again because I don't want to... I, I shoot a couple of fish after I lost my gill but the thing is with shooting fish without the gill when you shoot them you gotta go down and hold the steel because 
if you hold a steel like this, you're gonna go off. But we wanna thank God for this catch. Yes, it's a beautiful, beautiful catch. Two barracudas, three jack, one lionfish, two boots, and two Blairoy. Thank God. Unispit, I got Blairoy again. I know I got barracuda. Alright? So what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna clean up these fish and I'm gonna get them ready for the pot later on. Stay tuned for that guys. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the cleaning process. For those of you guys who have never seen me clean the fish, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the cleaning process and how it's done. Alright? Stay tuned for that. I'm gonna get my bucket, my cutting board, and I'm, I will be right back. Stay tuned. Yeah, I see. Show them in the bucket. Alright guys, look, look at that. Clean tree already. Tree so yeah, fast. Tree, yeah. Let me show you how I clean this. Very easy to clean. guys so if you look in the back you'll see the beach which means I have left the beach already all my fish are clean on my way home if you notice there's a lot of moss today and guys I never I didn't say this but I'm telling you now the amount of things I got on my lip on my ears one something that I gotta get I gotta get me one of those dives uh, dive suit with the headpiece because trust me on your hands and your foot, they cannot bite you because it's covered. But you see, once you're seeing your base skin, a lot of stings I got, guys. And the sea moss was everywhere. I got stings, but I was so determined. If I, if when I started the dive, I had followed my mind with those things that I was getting, I would have been home right now. I would have been home a long, long time ago because it was so frustrating getting all those things. But it's a good thing that those things are not venomous. They are not poisonous. You know, they will just sting you for a minute and then that's it, back, back to normal. Yeah, so it was a good day. Let's recap. It was a good day. A barracuda. Uh, I got two barracudas. I shot four. I got two. Obviously, two got away. The biggest one, look what it did. It's no more gill, no more plunge. It's gone. Just the pin. Just the pin is there. And my steel is bent look at that the steel is bent every time i get a chance to shoot the big barracuda something always happens but i promise you the next time the next time i shot a big barracuda i'm gonna land it i'm gonna land it for sure for sure i'm gonna land it all right guys so if you enjoy this kind of content especially the spear fishing because i noticed that uh, my spare fishing videos that is on this channel they don't get that amount of views right mm -hmm. but everybody have their favorite set of videos but for you for you guys who love spare fishing you know thank you for liking thank you for sharing thank you for always commenting and even if you guys don't like the spare fishing you still comment so I want to say a big big thank you to God, all you guys for always liking and watching right and there's a lot more spare fishing to come and guys leave a like subscribe all of that is free you're not being charged if you like the video you're not being charged if you subscribe to the channel all right so if you love content as i always say coming out of same on the good news subscribe to vinci by plus and i got a lot more man mad videos coming your way all right guys trust me i will not disappoint you if i say that i mean it i will not disappoint you so i'm gonna go up the hill go home clean up it's um 10 minutes it's five minutes after three o'clock in the pm right now eastern caribbean time yeah and i spent some time i wasn't in a rush that's why i take so i take so many time cleaning the fishes because i have nowhere to go until later on so until the next one finds us how we find the next one is vince vi plus in love god love people and always do good guys when the opportunity come to do good do good and then you will see in return what will happen to you all right so peace out see you in the next one and enjoy all the videos bam